All right, so last year, Gilly the Kid's son, uh, YNG Cheese, rest in peace, tragically passed away after uh, getting shot in the back. He was taken to the hospital by Philly law enforcement officials shortly after the shooting, but ultimately was pronounced dead. Gilly's been open about the intense impact the 25-year-old's passing has had on his life since. He even previously revealed that he feels the need to be strong as a result of Cheese's passing to hold the family up. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. The uh, Million Dollars Worth of Game host has been met with an outpour of love and support from fans and peers amid the tragedy. Unfortunately, however, not everybody has been so empathetic. Gilly the Kid responded to internet conspiracy theories claiming he sacrificed his son. The Philly native was asked about the disrespect, disrespectful rumor in a recent episode of the Pat Bev podcast. I didn't know Pat Bev had a podcast. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Was, yep. Yeah, it's Pat Dev and... What's it called? Defense? No. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up this explain. morning and you disrespected a nigga that you absolutely never met in your life. Yeah, you a solid. suck ass yeah, nigga, man. Solid. How could you ever disrespect somebody that you don't fucking know? Mm. How could you ever disrespect a man's child that got murdered out here in these streets? I mean, rest in peace, first and foremost, to your son, man. That is honestly one of the things that pisses me off the most. And I wouldn't even mention it if it wasn't getting thousands of likes. People are like, see, the fucking Illuminati sacrifice. Illuminati. That makes my blood boil, that they would use a like, situation like that that's, like, so tragic. The Illuminati sacrifice and all that dumbass shit online. The Back Illuminati forth. came down North Philly and killed my son. Shut the fuck up. Gotta see some dumb shit like that online. Because you niggas trying to get views and likes. What Jay-Z say? You get so good, they wish the devil on you. Yeah, but one day Logo gonna lighten up. I'm gonna tear y'all ass up. I'm gonna light y'all the fuck up. I'm gonna give you all the fame you looking for. Anytime I get a motherfucker, he told me to get him. I protect him from anything. Like I never tell him something, so he is safe. If you woke up this morning, send it to me like, yo, man, I see. I said, yeah, cuz I know about that two months yeah, ago. Yeah, I seen I that six months ago. What well, nigga, because what? You gotta keep me focused. You only respond up mm. or right here. You don't respond down. Right. Because right. I'm not I'm not putting no light on you. We live in a culture now where a lot of dudes, they just do anything on the internet right. and they trying to get the attention of a real winner. Mm. Like we fucking big time winners, man. I mean here's a lot of niggas. I mean, that's how it be. He sent me to me like you. Man. Yeah, that Shout makes my to blood boil too. I Wallo. hate the <sighs> That's my nigga. Shout out to Gilly. Um that's why I think the internet's a real piece of shit. Because everybody always trying to misuse that shit, always trying to paint their own fucking narratives, homie. Like that man lost his baby in the streets. To however, hey, it happened, but it ain't happened to no fucking Illuminati. Like everybody always trying to pull up this bullshit, these conspiracies. Oh, it had to be Illuminati. What, because the niggas went and got their bread? But, I'm not going to yeah. lie, Sharp. When I first heard the news, that was my initial thought. Now, I wouldn't tweet it. I wouldn't dare comment on his Instagram uh, given the possibility that that's not the case, and that would be extremely ins insensitive. But man, uh, when I first saw it, you thought it was like a blood son. sacrifice, like for <laughs> that some, man didn't sacrifice. So I'm big some on, I'm worshipers? big Come on. on just hear me out. Hear me out. I'm big on patterns. I notice patterns. I pick up patterns. I've noticed a pattern of celebrities losing close family members right before or uh, amongst a level up. So I don't like when you see a Regina King win an Jennifer Oscar, Hudson shit, I Jennifer Hudson. It, I, I could keep going. I, I could really it. keep going. But bro, it's strange nah. to me. That's strange to me. Again, I'm not saying that. And I, like I said, I would never comment that or, or even tweet that. But in honesty, like when I first heard the news, that was my initial thought. Nigga ain't sacrifice his baby. It was yeah, just it a, was just a thought though. Yeah, there's and a I kept term it in for my that. Like if now. you like, if you're looking for. Something you're gonna find or whatever. I forget what the actual term is for it. But yeah, I'm sure there's a, a for every a, one example you can find of, you know what I mean, a celebrity, mm -hmm. you know, losing somebody close to them. There's, a, you know what I mean, thousands and of them. And then there's that a, are, like a media, you know, immediate or, level okay, up. Can we sleep. level Can we level here with each other? Uh -huh. People lose people every day. Only reason you knew it, it's him because he's already on. Uh -huh. So it's gonna be talked yeah, about. Exactly, yeah. People lose family members every day, dog. Don't That's mean true. that they're all of a sudden it's the Illuminati because a nigga's on. It doesn't change life, bro. All just because right. you get some money. People going to die around you. You're going to lose a lot of shit. You're going to lose a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You got to remember that, dog. Like, it's not... This is life, my nigga. Yeah, like, it, it, it just so happened that it got... It, it, it has a spotlight around it and a magnifying glass on it because it was Gilly's son. Mm -hmm. But think about how many other people's kids died that day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That we don't know about. Right. You know what I mean? We only know about this one because it's Gilly, so we're going to sit there and say that, oh... <laughs> He's got money. The spotlight's on him. It's got to be something. It's, it's the timing, it though. The timing. Be, 
Come also, on, with, again, I'm not saying that is true. I'm telling you why I had that thought. I'm explaining why yeah, that thought why came across my there. brain, okay. and I, I see why. I, I don't I agree it. with it, but I understand why people have that thought. Again, it's insensitive and it's wrong and it's asshole shit yeah. to go on this man's Instagram and harass him with so the shit. So if he didn't get no money and his son died, you wouldn't say nothing if like that. If there wasn't an immediate level up, I probably wouldn't have thought immediate that. Immediate level up, these niggas been working at it. Well, definitely Gilly Gilly been around this shit for a while. You gotta right. remember, bro, he's been in the mix. He's been in the spotlight already. He's nobody new. Uh, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Long time, long time. A long time. So yeah. it's not like he just dropped out of the sky overnight, and a week later they what? shot these niggas and honored him. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. Nah, right. So right look. Or wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, listen, listen. Right. So listen. So like, so when it comes to us as black folks, right? Like we think so poorly of ourselves that like when like we see that they got a hundred million, like we think How nigga hot, yeah. <laughs> right? Not nah, right. Can't possibly mm -hmm. be an on merit. It has to be a son, right? But then also too, too right? So I so, saw um like um past the blood sacrifice thing because I do think like the blood sacrifice is kind of silly. But um Hassan Campbell is who I believe Gilly was somewhat talking about when he speaks on like these niggas and on YouTube. Because Hassan Campbell like came out and pretty much like went in and criticized Gilly for having a hundred million and his son still being in the hood of North Philly, like hanging around to where he's able to to get killed, you know. So you guys don't believe in any blood sacrifice rituals ever have taken place? No, I don't in think so. History I think, of the entertainment, because no, I think, it. yeah, because I think, no. you know, what I mean, okay. the people who are like really have the billions and who are really, you know what I mean, it. like that, yeah, they're not checking for BET. They're not trying to control. Like that's we're small change in comparison to. You know what I mean? The actual big picture guys. I could be wrong. Who knows? People, man. kids die every day, bro. Only reason we knew about it because it was Gilly's son. Mm -hmm. Straight up. It's not unheard of. It's mm -hmm. not uncommon. It just happened because we we follow their lifestyle. So you're mm -hmm. going to hear about things that happen to them. Yeah. Just like there's people that follow my lifestyle, Prim, Flacco, anything. Mm -hmm. So there's people mm -hmm. that are constantly watching. I don't give a fuck if it's only two people. Right. Somebody that's constantly watching, bro. Right. So, so they're gonna follow you with whether something happens, mm -hmm. whether something around you happens. It's it's gonna be talked about. That's and, just and, that's and just I my think, opinion. Yeah, and it. I think like you know, right. what I mean, it's not crazy for like you know, what I mean, yeah. there to be some blood sacrifice or some organizations, but like I feel like they would be. You know what I mean? Targeting like politicians or like pharmaceutical niggas you're or whatever. Like under they were you're underestimating so the influence of hip hop figures and the power of it. There's been whole organizations that have infiltrated hip hop just to push certain agendas. And uh, I mean, yeah, they the make world. a couple M's it's or whatever, most, but yeah, there's so more money elsewhere. They trillions and trillions of dollars off of what is more. He just told you how powerful music was. He just had a whole rant where he repeated himself about how yeah. powerful music was and things of that sort. Uh, you wouldn't say entertainment is America's biggest export? We're not um, sending out fish and we don't make cars and I don't think we send cabinets to China and different countries and stuff like that. Our biggest export is entertainment. So if there were to be any type of rituals or conspiracies, I think I would look at the biggest export of the nation okay. in regards to entertainment. Again, as a child, when I heard the Jennifer Hudson news about her uh, mom and sister uh, being murdered after she won the Oscar... That was my that was my initial thought. Like this is some Illuminati shit. When I saw Regina King's son uh, commit suicide or whatnot, rest in peace, and then she wins the Oscar in, in that short time frame after a long career where she could have been won an Oscar, Ray, all these different movies, she wins the Oscar. Her son dies. You get what I'm saying? To me, it's just a thought. I would never go to Regina King's page in a million mm. years and comment some shit like that. I would never do that, but I'm just telling you what pops up in my head. Yeah, and because we have the conversation, I'm saying it now, like, but I've never said it right, until now. But when you got one thought and that thought turns into a thousand thoughts, now people start to take those opinions or just that thought as now it's a, it's a fact. Oh, it's not it's fact. True. And it's not factual. You know what I'm saying? And mm. I think that's the fucking problem mm. is that it, it can just start as a thought. Mm. Then all of a sudden, a week later down the road, Four or five thousand likes or comments later, yeah. now it's true. That's actually what done happened. Now people are taking that narrative. I feel it. Like it's crazy, bro. I well, really don't see that. I really don't think that happened. I know that didn't happen. Man, come on, bro. Hell no. Nah. Blood sacrifice, yeah, I don't believe in that, but I do believe in bus sacrifice, right? Blood so, sacrifice, yeah. I believe there's yeah, some, right? Yeah, like, they definitely got some secret organizations. Clubs and shit going on. Yeah, right. Like for example, like mm -hmm. if you tell me that niggas is 
go into these high tower, you know, like hotels and selling a butt to the, you know, to like these executives to get on? Uh, uh, of course, absolutely, right? That's right, that's man, that's man, bro, like. But both are energy based. If you saying that, that if you saying that that's a sacrifice. Illuminati. Both are energy based, so that would be a, like a root chakra, a chakra sure. sacrifice. If you're talking about butt sex, sure. that's your root chakra. And then, as far as killing somebody, what could, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like when you take not, like extract. What would extract more energy than killing somebody and sacrificing somebody? I'm if you're dealing so. with energy, if you're but, talking about sacrifice, I'm saying, but energy. that's like magical. Yeah. I think these I don't with think, rituals. I don't think some magical, rituals imply that magic's magic being magic performed. Right? I think they just actually no, had no, sex no, no, no. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I say like, uh, so when I say like butt sacrifice, I'm talking about like when Harvey yeah, Weinstein, like, like you giving is, up some butt. You feel me? Is asking you to like suck his dick and to fuck you, and you go up and say, "All right, bro, listen, man." If I gotta fuck this old white nigga to get this hundred million dollar deal, I got to. That's a little different than yo, I then 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 bro, like the Illuminati like killed my son. It's still a transfer, so it's on. still a transfer of energy both ways. It's both it's still a transfer of energy, of power, whether it's sexual or a murder. Both will be transferring energy, and we know energy can't be destroyed, but only transferred from one uh, vessel to another. I'll end with this. Uh Gloria Velez, uh, she said that. She was at an event with uh, her then boyfriend Aaron Hall, and he was taking her. He made sure she wore all white. He insisted he wouldn't let her not go to this event, and he took her there to be uh, sacrificed, and that she was going to get sacrificed. And, Aaron like, Hall's an type, Illuminati. His th- career this is the court the glory of Velez, and you can like look that. this up. She <laughs> said this on Vlad TV. She said this on different platforms. She said that she was being took to an event. She got to wear all white, be prepared a certain way. Took to an event. They were going to sacrifice her, and Tupac is the one who saved her. Tupac. Po- Went in there, saw what was going on, dragged her out of there, oh, and saved her life. This is her story. I yeah, believe things like, mental I health believe has been called things like question, that right? happen. In yeah, the I don't. Industry. Yeah, I don't necessarily so trust celebrities and shit to be that secretive either. I feel like somebody's gonna make a tell-all book or something, man. Somebody would have. We would have more. Mm, we would have more. But either way, hey, no, you're something, right. something, as a something month, like in this on. day and age, motherfuckers just got to run their mouth. Yeah, you already mean, know. Yeah, the first thing they see, first time they see something water. crazy. Yeah, motherfucker can't, can't hold water, man. That's like, not something to be going on, around dog. telling people like, oh, we in the back sacrificing people. That's shit, not man. something to share. Shit, listen up, man. Bro, I've been trying to find a plug, bro. You feel me, man? Like, you trying to get what in? The fuck yeah, you nah. Hey, yeah, nigga, where do I go, nigga? You feel me? Hey, what a cousin going? Hey, hey, nigga. I'll be real. That's Listen, that's you that's telling that's me, bro, like it's a plug to where you can sacrifice a nigga and get a hundred M's, bro, bro, bro. Listen, yo, where do I find a plug at, man? You, you said me? your cousin. You <laughs>